won't you go? Titanium, boys, haters, whatever. Come to you day at uh, Westmore Mark a lot. Talk about the Ravens game against the uh, Chargers. Oh, uh, okay. Well, first I said I'm happy with our season. Winning the division was our Super Bowl. That was deep down, so I didn't think we was going to win a goddamn Super Bowl. It is what it is. The game itself, I think the coaching staff did us a disservice, to be totally honest with you. I don't think uh, Lynn Duff done nothing groundbreaking with uh, putting in the whole damn team with defensive backs. A lot of ways you can go to that. You go to bunch formations, run jet sweeps, quick short passes, tight ends, Bully formation, that's what I call it. Big boy formation. Go three tight ends, one wide receiver. You run it, throw a little short passes. It's something there. But just to keep on going on and trying to gut it up in there. The play that got me when they was uh, going down in there. and uh, And he running third and five instead of trying to get a first down. I had a big problem with that. You run third and five. You ain't try to pass the ball. You just try to go. You just try to run the ball for Lamar up the middle. <laughs> I just didn't understand that. You know, I know Lamar on a scale of one to a ten. He's a eh, four and a half, five for passing, but he's not terrible. You know what I'm saying? He's basic. You know, I mean... Still, got to at least give it a try, though. I had a big problem with that. I had a problem with these guys coming. You know, I can understand why he didn't pull your flack in there. I can understand that. I'm cool with that, you know. But uh, it should have been a little bit more adjustments, definitely after the second half. You, nothing, your whole objective is to win the game. You didn't do nothing different. Just, just compete. Did the same thing. Get the bar. Run some, uh, move the pocket. Oh, yeah, just to talk about the offensive line. These guys was terrible. Then he put Joe Flacco on there. It was Joe Flacco probably that got hurt again. Same when Lamar got back there, they was in his, they was in his, his wheelhouse. Joe Flacco wouldn't fare better after not playing two weeks. But I understand why people uh, was up in the roar because Lamar was having a bad game, you know. Maybe he's doing this a te teacher moment. Hurst is a backup. The center is basic. Our tackles didn't play good. The only one that seemed like he was played good was uh was Yonder. But overall, like I said, a successful season. I'm extremely happy with our season. I'm happy with we going forward. What I like about Lamar, yes, he needs to work on his passing, his footwork, his ball protection. Is that this the type of dude was gonna work on his craft. I like my man Joe Flacco. He just all this talent Joe Flacco had. And he just did not get better over the years. 
he could have been a much better, definitely a top 10 quarterback. You know, and he could, all his physical attributes, the way he throw the ball, prototype. He just didn't work hard on his craft. One thing I say about Peyton Manning and Brady, these guys strived every offseason to get better. And I'm not trying to hate on Flacco, but it is what it is. I mean, just didn't try to get better, you know. And as you get older and Flacco start getting injured, and yeah, it is what it is. Now, the next thing is the coaching staff. Me personally, this, you know, with John Harbaugh, I like him with the motivator. I think he's probably the best motivator in the damn game to get the Ravens up to play. But the X's and O's without coaching staff, making game game uh, changes on the fly. I mean, it's something I could have figured out. You guys didn't even try. You know, I mean, try with Lamar. Lamar can't get it with a different type of uh, mindset, different plays, different rollouts, diff different streams, different anything. Formations, but he just kept on trying to run the same damn play pretty much the whole damn game. I, I just didn't understand that. Defense play lights out. They give up, they give up five field goals and a touchdown. A touchdown could have went our way, but I look at it last week. These things come back to haunt you. You can't put the ball in the ref's hand. So last week Cleveland could have done the same thing. So you know, me personally, I think it's a fumble. Maybe that's the Raven in me. Uh, my next thing is. The draft. Me personally, still think you need a stud running back, but your offensive line definitely need to be improved. You need to try to get somebody in free agency. Definitely, if you can get somebody real good, you know, uh, definitely a guard. Definitely more depth on our team. A center. The best center in the game, whoever you can get in a draft. You can't go in the season with Hurst. Uh, what's that? Left guard? Hurst is terrible. I was seeing the moves he was getting beat on. It was it was just crazy. It wasn't nothing the guy was doing real groundbreaking. It's not like this guy was the right Feeney. He just was getting worked pretty much the whole game. I definitely had a problem with that. So, he didn't give Lamar Jackson a chance. Surprisingly, he didn't get hurt that game. The NFL playoffs. Indianapolis is looking good. I think San Diego can win it all. Indianapolis, KC, they definitely come. One of those three teams coming out. I can't pick. I'm thinking it's going to be definitely San Diego and the Indianapolis game against KC. I don't know. I don't know. So, any of those three teams could win. KC definitely have the home field advantage, but they proved over the years so they can lose in the playoff. Um, over the West, you gotta go. You gotta go with the uh, with the uh, the Saints. So, me personally, I'm gonna go right now. I'm gonna say the Saints and the Chiefs, and Saints win because I think Saints overall is the better team. Off season, John Harbaugh. Me personally, right now, though, I'm thinking I could be in my feelings, but I think they need a whole new flow. If you can get something for John Harbaugh, <clears throat> get him, get him. You know, I don't think he's like the other, you know, this awesome coach. So, and. I think that's about all I want to say today. This is session four. If you notice, daytime I have my light glasses on. Nighttime, probably wear my dark light glasses. So, have a great day, guys. Subscribe to me, Larry Titanium Hardy, on YouTube. When I get the feeling, I do a little vlog here and there. You know, I was in my feelings with the game. It took me a couple days to kind of like get over that. I was a little depressed, but it didn't take me as long. Yeah, I've been depressed sometimes one and two weeks and have to take off work for a whole week. So 
It didn't get to me like that. Believe it or not, like five, six hours after the game, I was good to go. So, let's get my thoughts together. <sighs> Great day, ladies and gentlemen. This is uh, Larry Titanium. Session 04. January the... What's the January the 8th? 2019. Love all you guys. Have a great day.